This video is sponsored by EA. Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. I was fortunate enough to get my hands on an early build of Battlefield 5 to talk about vehicles and how DICE is changing the way they work in the new game. Much of this is still up in the air, but let's take a look at how vehicles are designed in Battlefield 5. Like previous Battlefield games, players will have access to a wide variety of vehicles. These include tanks, airplanes, half-tracks, and even the nimble Kettenkrad. Scarcity is a big part of the changes to traditional vehicle gameplay in Battlefield 5. Vehicles no longer have unlimited ammunition, which means vehicle operators will need to find supply points and restock after extensive combat. This makes vehicle gameplay more tactical, since players have to monitor their ammunition and weigh the risks of charging into combat with low ammo or withdrawing to stock up. It also discourages vehicle spam and players who'd rather camp on a hill instead of playing the objective. To restock ammunition, players must locate supply points on the map, and additional supply points can be built by support players in Battlefield 5. Supply points for aircraft are found in the skies above the map. For repairing damaged vehicles, quick repair and self-repair do make a return, but DICE have better balanced the mechanic, limiting the amount of health those abilities restore. To fully repair a vehicle, pilots or tankers need to find a supply point, have a support player fix up their vehicle, or hop out to make repairs. The build at EA Play featured several iconic vehicles, including the Churchill and Valentine tanks for the British, while the Germans get the Tiger and Panzer IV. Each of these was kitted out differently and had unique advantages and disadvantages. For example, the Churchill Mark VII has improved armor-piercing capabilities, while the Churchill gun carrier can fire faster, but has a limited gun traverse due to its fixed superstructure. My favorite aircraft was, of course, the Stuka, which had two variants, one for strafing ground targets and another for dive bombing. And yes, it was equipped with the Jericho Siren. I also got to try out the truly terrifying Sturmtiger and the flame-throwing Churchill Crocodile Tank. These squad reinforcements are designed to reward players who work together as a group. The Sturmtiger's massive 380mm rocket launcher can demolish entire buildings, and it has improved frontal armor, just like it did in real life. These squad reinforcement vehicles are far from invincible, though they are a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. The V-1 rocket made an appearance on the map as well. This flying bomb can be called in to strike enemy strong points, vehicles, or supply dumps. Meanwhile, all of the tanks and the Hanamag half-track in Battlefield 5 are capable of towing stationary weapons like the Pac-40 anti-tank gun and the Flak 38 AA gun. This allows players more control over the battlefield, rewarding players who smartly place these defensive weapons. What's more, you can fire these stationary weapons while they're being towed. And just a reminder, what you see here is early in development and it could change by launch, but you can at least see how Battlefield is working hard to try and make vehicle gameplay in Battlefield 5 the best it's ever been in the Battlefield franchise. For more Battlefield 5 videos, visit youtube.com slash flagfiregaming. And as always, thanks for watching.